Hello YouTube, Magma Rhino here, and today I'm going to be walking through you through these steps to retrace use transformer, uh, the original one to F101. Now, this process should work with all batch versions. Uh, I am currently using a B50. I've rooted my brother's, which is a B90, so um, it's after that B70 um, fix. I am not exactly sure what method it's using. But the name of the program is called Viper Mod Prime Time, and it <clears throat> it works. I don't know. I'm not really gonna get into that how it's uh, all that. But um, one important thing: there's been a recent update. 9.2.1.21 is the build number. You must be on 9.2.1.17 in order to root. It does not work with the new um, version. So if you are too high of a version right now, if you're 9.2.1.21 or higher, you're going to have to downgrade it. How you do that? First of all, I don't have my transformer visible here, um, but you're going to want to completely copy your internal memory from your transformer and paste it somewhere in your computer as a backup. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is get titanium backup. Um, also, I forgot to tell people to turn up volume. It's important. Oh my god, I can't spell. Uh, this is just in case people don't have the volume up because uh, I'm going to be talking you through a lot of the things and not actually showing you since uh, you can't see my tablet. Well, you could see my tablet and computer at the same time, but that's too much work for me, quite honestly. Um, also, so if you're going to have to downgrade, um, I would recommend using Titanium Backup, backing up the file and then copying that whole titanium backup folder to an SD card or an external place because the entire internal memory will be wiped. Um, then you're just going to go into this unbricking and you're going to follow my unbricking procedure which I will post an annotation somewhere around here. <coughs> um, but once you do that you'll be all ready to go. You can downgrade it. Um, you can, I believe, whoops, yeah, here I have the 9.2.1.17 firmware, so um, you can flash this, and that will be rootable, so uh, then everything should be good. So I'm going to be right back, I'm just going to prep my transformer before I do anything else. Okay, so now that you're sure you're on the correct firmware, which is 9.2.1.17 again, uh, you can continue with the rooting process. Oh, hold on, I got that. Sorry, I've been playing Minecraft and uh, lags it up too much. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is just look and make sure you have the rooting folder. Uh, again, you can get the whole kit down there in the description, I'll have a link to it. Um, so you're going to want to make sure you have this, this, and this. Um, right now, if you want to, it doesn't matter when you do it, you can copy these two files to your SD card. Um, you can just leave them how they are, just copy them right to the uh, main file of your SD card, and that's all you have to do with them. And the next guy we're going to get to in a second. Uh, first thing on your tablet, you're going to want to go into your settings. Alright, listen close because this is important. In your settings, first you're going to go to security. You're going to check unknown sources and hit OK when it prompts you. Next, you're going to go to developer options. It's going to warn you, you just hit OK. And then you can check your USB debugging. It'll prompt you again, you hit A. Uh, when you do that, it will, your uh, tablet will be disconnected from your computer then reconnected and it'll give you this little window that just lets you know that you've done it right, kind of. Um, you don't have to worry about it. <coughs> Alright, so I mean now my uh, tablet appears here and uh, you can just copy the files if you want to now. Um, next thing you're going to do is install the drivers and I'm going to give you the best way to do it which guarantees that it won't not work. Uh, first you're going to want to find your device, it should be MTP, um, it might be something different, I already have the drivers installed so that's why it's uh, there. You're going to go double click it, properties, driver, update driver, um, browse computer, and now here's the part that sometimes gets messed up. Um, if you go here, you browse, you find it, and you upload it, sometimes it says the best software is already on your device, that doesn't work, so I'm going to show you the uh, way to force the update. You're going to go, let me pick from a list, have disk, it's going to bling, you're going to hit browse, you're going to find that folder, I believe I'm already in it, yep I am, so it's in this rooting kit, 
uh, Viper Mod, Primetime, Drivers, Android, and then this guy, the Android Win USB. You're going to open him, it'll show up here, then you can hit OK. Then hit Next, it'll install it. And as you can see, even though I already have it installed, uh, the other method would say you already have the best software. This will install it anyway, it will reinstall it. Um, our world will not be. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yes, yeah, so you will have to restart your computer after you install the software. I won't have to because I already had it on there. That's gonna tell me anyway. Shut up. Um, <laughs> alright, so for you guys, you will have to restart your computer. No big deal, it'll just take another 5 10 minutes. Um, but once you have your drive installed, they'll always be there. Next, you're gonna come in here. You're gonna go down to the Swiper Mod Primetime 4.5 application, and you're gonna hit 1 and then hit Enter. I understand it says it's for the Prime, but trust me, it works. <coughs> Sorry. Allergies. Um, it works, don't worry about it. I promise I'm not gonna screw up your tablet. Then you're gonna hit any key twice, and it's gonna start this. And now this whole process is gonna begin, it's gonna copy a bunch of files over. Um, and then when it gets to this installing BusyBox and then installing SU, if you have a notification um, that says can't be found, something like that, mm -hmm. that means you are on too new of a firmware and you're going to have to downgrade like I mentioned earlier in this video. Um, if your tablet reboots when you're done, it most likely has mm -hmm. worked. Um, after this, I'm going to be showing you how to install Clockwork Mod Recovery. So I'm just going to get off the computer and start taking a video of my tablet so that you can see a lot easier what I'm doing. Um, but make sure you do have those two files transferred over because you're going to need those two for the next step. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I'll see you in a few seconds. Alright, I'm back and this is going to be just the last little bit of the video and this is going to be how to install so, Clockwork Mod Recovery on your Asus Transformer. Sorry, I had a brain fart. Um, you can try using an app called ROM Manager. You just download it from the app market and you can download it from there. But for some reason that wasn't working for me. I don't know what the issue was. So anyway, um, if that doesn't work for you, you can do this. Or you can just do this right away. It's really just as easy. It's no big deal. Uh, you're going to have to make sure you copied over the recovery installer and the recovery clockwork mod recovery file thing. Um, first click on this recovery installer, it's going to say do you want to install, hit install, um, if it says you have to like enable installing of unknown sources just go ahead check that, come back here and install it, once you're done you can open it up, just tap this box, it should ask for super user permissions like right here, you can allow it, um, this is also a check to make sure you did get uh, the root correctly working, um, because if that doesn't pop up, then it means uh, you didn't actually root it correctly and you have some kind of issue you gotta go fix. Anyway, when this is done, it'll reboot. No, it didn't crash. It is actually rebooting. That's what the app does. Alright? So you're gonna wait for this to boot up and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna update Clockwork Mod Recovery because uh, that application installs a very old, outdated, and uh, slightly modified version by... I forget who makes it. It'll say it um, when I open it up. Alright, but the next thing we're going to do is boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now, how you do that is you can just power it off, hit OK. And then once it powers off, you're going to hold down the volume down button and the power button at the same time for about five seconds. As you will see... Alright, so I'm going to start holding down the volume down and the power button. Now, once the screen light lights up and some script comes up in the upper left corner, you hit the volume up. Another line will appear and then it will boot into here, and it's uh, the Team Rogue version, by the way. So anyway, you're going to use the volume rockers to navigate, the power button to select, and In select installs it from SD card, go um, wherever you copy the file to, probably your external, then find the recovery clockwork mod touch, yes, install. Now once this installs, blah blah blah, go back, reboot system now, and that should have the updated uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. And make sure you reboot it right after you do it, otherwise you will run into some issues. Um, but once you see that loading bar and that finishes, like you just saw a few seconds ago, then you're all good. Um, actually, from here, if you don't feel like waiting, like I don't, 
you can hold down the volume down and the power button. The screen will shut off and then it will turn back on and you'll have the same scenario as before where you see the little bit of uh, script in the upper left, hit the volume up and now it's going to boot you into the new Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, this is a touch version which means you don't have to use the volume rockers to uh, use it. I just tried scrolling and there's nowhere to scroll to so epic fail on my part. Um, but anyway, so say you want to install something, you go to whoops, reboot system now. That's not what I wanted to do. I actually want to show you something important that you should do right now, so please don't turn off the video yet. La 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 la. There we go. Alright, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I look at my camera when I'm doing these videos and it makes me a bad aim. Um, but I'm not good now, so hopefully better. First you're going to go to Backup and Restore, and you're going to hit Backup. Alright, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to end the video here, because what it's going to do is it's going to back up your basic, rooted uh, firmware and your apps and all that kind of jazz, so that in case you have an, an issue, um, or you just want to go back to like the stock rooted version without having to do the complete unroot and then reroot and stuff like that, this is the easiest way to do it. Um, it just backs up your whole system and everything how you have it, and it stores it on your SD card, your external SD card. Um, the file takes up like two, three hundred megabytes, so it isn't overly huge. Um, but you know, it's not that small. It is like a third of a video, but you know, whatever. It's definitely worth it to have at least one or two backups, just in case something goes wrong, because it's a lot easier than doing a complete uh, wipe and we rerouting. Um, so that's pretty much it. Thank you, mate, very much for watching this. If you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, even though you can't see my thumb doing a thumbs up. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment, ask me. Um, I should respond within a day or two. So if you're having real bad issues, uh, feel free to just contact me. Uh, you can always use my emergency contact link, which is on my channel page. If you go up there above... Um, that's pretty much it, so thank you very much for watching, I'll see you later.